Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog, and in this video I want to discuss iOS 13.4 and share about 15 new features as this update should be ready for you to download on your iPhone, your iPad, and your iPod Touch. So now in the wallet application, if you're using an Apple card to purchase Apple services such as iCloud storage, an app purchase, or an Apple Music subscription, or really any other type of subscription, with your Apple Card, you will now get a richer and deeper profile for those purchases. So before it would only show you the price and that it was used for an Apple service, but now it will show you what the purchase was and give you a little icon. So you're not trying to guess at what that purchase was and you won't have any confusion there. Now there is a new home screen command for Siri on your iPhone and your iPad. Take me to the home screen. versus iOS 13.3, which was, take me to my home screen. Just swipe up from the bottom of the screen to get home. And you can see that's not very helpful. So that is a change on iOS 13.4 for more hands-free control of your iPhone and the screen. There's actually a new Shazam It shortcut for your iPhone and iPad for Siri shortcuts. So of course you already had Shazam for Siri and you could ask her to identify a song, but now you can create your own program using this, which is kind of cool. And I saw something on Twitter that was creating a Shazam program to leave your phone at a party, have the shortcut run once a minute indefinitely, append the results to a text file, and then you have a complete list of the songs played at a party at the end of a night. That's kind of a niche example, but it's cool. And that's just the type of thing that you can do with this shortcut now. Now you have nine new Memoji stickers, so if you're a fan of Memoji for iMessage or for FaceTime or whatever it is, you can now have nine new to play with. Now we have the return of iCloud file sharing. So this was introduced with iOS 13, but then taken away. But with 13.4, we have it back. So if you go to share, you can now add people to your files and, and share the files like that versus iOS 13.3, which if we go into a file and we try to share it, you see we just don't even have that share option in the drop down. So now again, this is kind of competing with Google Drive and Dropbox to add people to iCloud Drive storage and files. Next is a pretty powerful feature for your iPad. So now you have the ability to remap buttons on physical keyboards such as Apple's keyboard folio. So your command or option or control or the globe button or caps lock or tab, you can now change that to something else. So if you're a programmer and you don't use caps lock and you wanna change that to escape, you can now do that. This is actually a very nice and powerful hardware and software collaboration effort with iOS 13.4 on the iPad. So that's great for physical keyboards. 13.4 also brings tremendously improved mouse and trackpad support for the iPad. I made a whole 10 minute video about this, so I invite you to go check that out if you're interested and I'll tell you all about it there. Now in the mail application, we can see a slight change. So before you had just the reply button and the trash button, but now you have reply, compose, and move and archive button. So those are a couple new options down in the menu bar at the bottom of your screen for the mail application. Now, if you have a non-Face ID device, such as um, an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 7, anything with a home button, when you go into Control Center, you will now have the iPhone 10 style status bar with your information up top. Not a huge change, but that is new for non-Face ID phones. Next is the ability to make one purchase to download an application for both iPhone or iPad and Mac. So before you could download something on your iPad and have it be the same purchase as for your iPhone. Well, now you can do that between the iPhone and iPad and the Mac. So you can purchase something for one price instead of two prices. So this is a good way to potentially save money if developers opt for this feature with their applications. We have a whole bunch of new settings in the TV application on your iPhone. This isn't a setting I go to often, but if you go into TV and settings, you can see a whole bunch of new options, including your streaming and cellular playback. So if we go into here, you can see what those differences are. Also in the TV app itself, we now have a couple of changes. So you can see that now you have genres option, which you didn't have before. Um, for genres in your library, but you also now have the family sharing section right in here in the library view of the TV app. So if you have an iCloud family account set up, you can share your purchases right from the library view. There's now a new accessibility setting for Siri. So if you go into 
accessibility, and then you go down to Siri. There's now a new option for Hey Blank that will allow you to always listen. So including your phone is facing down or covered, it says. So Siri will always be listening with this turned on. And finally, in music that has instrumentals, it'll show an ellipse instead of just nothing. So to indicate in the lyric view of Apple Music that it is just an instrumental instead of nothing playing there. So anyway, those are the changes with iOS 13.4. Let me know what you think of these changes and if I missed any down in the comments below. And you can check out more written on idownloadblog.com, which will be linked in the description. But thanks so much for watching.